Roman crucifixion, the purpose of crucifixion was state terrorism. And the function was to leave the body on the cross for the carrion crows and the, the prowling dogs. It, it was not simply that it made you suffer a lot, it meant that you didn't get buried. That's what made it one of the supreme Roman penalties, lack of burial. Well, Crossan's thesis that the body of Jesus was left out to be eaten by dogs uh, was refuted by Byron McCain, a scholar who had examined Jewish burial practices in some detail. And he reached the conclusion that indeed, in order to humiliate and shame Jesus further, he would have been buried in the tomb of someone who was not a family member. And Joseph of Arimathea fits that description perfectly. They would have been bound to bury Jesus in the tomb of Joseph or someone else's tomb other than his own because to bury Jesus, in a, in a, to bury any person in a tomb that did not belong to their family was a shameful thing. And that would have been part of the whole process starting at the crucifixion and on through burial that would have been part of their process of humiliating Jesus. So there's actually a very good case that in order to humiliate Jesus further they would put him in someone else's tomb like that. Anyone who makes an issue of there being no records left of Jesus' crucifixion by the official court of Pilate is missing an important point. And that is that we have absolutely no records left over from any provincial governor's office of the Roman Empire, whether about a crucifixion or of any other subject, such as what they had for lunch. All these records have simply disappeared. There was certainly no reason for the Romans to keep them, and they no doubt disappeared along with all the other trash that they threw out. Crucifixion had been practiced by the Persians uh, as early as the 600s BC and was practiced regularly by the Romans and there were times when they crucified thousands of people at once. Depending on how you count, Josephus mentions crucifixion nine or ten times. Nay, they proceeded to that degree of impiety as to cast away their dead bodies without burial although Jews used to take so much care of the burial of men that they took down those that were condemned and crucified and buried them before the going down of the sun. Now, hear this from Luke chapter 23, verses 51 through 53, and compare this with what Josephus says. He had not consented to the council indeed. Joseph was from Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who himself was also waiting for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in linen, and laid it in a tomb that was hewn out of the rock, where no one had ever been lain before. 